Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a haul from Aldi. This is my first time at Aldi all year. My last time going to Aldi was in December of 2020. I spent $102 and some change. My one-year-old is having a little snack of some graham crackers, so you may hear him from time to time. And I also plan to share a meal plan at the end of this video. So let me show you what I picked up. So I needed some heavy whipping cream for some recipes that I plan to make. I also grabbed Harrison uh, for the first time, um, this apple juice and pear juice. It's for babies, it was $1.15. Usually when we give him juice, we dilute it with water. I also grabbed some French onion dip and it is really good. I do not like mayo at all and this is not a mayo based dip. It is sour cream based dip and I think it's like 89 cents and it is really good. I love it. I eat it with the um, Fritos scoops. I also needed some yogurt. I like yogurt and Harrison likes yogurt too. This is probably one of my favorite yogurts. I grabbed, um, let me move something. I grabbed four one pound packages of Italian sausage. I prefer getting Italian sausage in the tubes. So this is the hot sausage and this is just the regular sausage. I grabbed some tortellini and that's what I got the heavy whipping cream for. I plan on having tortellini this week. I also grabbed some grilled chicken strip breast. I like to um, have these in my salads during the week. And I wanted the um, other yogurt, the kind that's in the little pouch that you squeeze up. They didn't have it, they only had this. Harrison hasn't tried these tubes out before. Hopefully he'll like them, he'll be able to, to work with them. Um, but I think these were only $1.15, so they were pretty inexpensive. We eat tons of rice and I needed some more, so this is a five pound package of rice. Um, seasoned fries, I can't remember if I've had these before, but I wanted to give them a try. I also grabbed this Irish butter. I hear it's supposed to be like Kerrygold, so we'll see, and some mushrooms as well. I just like to have those. Sometimes I just saute them up and then add them to my eggs or you know whatever in the morning for breakfast. I grabbed some popcorn, I'm trying to eat a little bit better, and this is a quick and easy snack. I also grabbed the Asian salad kit. This is for my lunches during the week. Howard's not a big fan of the Asian uh, kit, so I like it. And that's what I use typically these chicken breast strips with. And also this is, there's actually no lettuce in here. So you could also use this as a stir fry as well. This is just cabbage, so that's a thought there. Wanted to try um, this Elevation Caramel Almond Sea Salt Bar out, and this was at the register. So instead of buying a whole box, I just wanted to try it this way. I also like pistachios, these are unsalted. I think these were four something a box. And then I've heard good things about this General Tso's Asian Sauce, wanted to give that a try as well. I go through a lot of cheese, specifically cheddar cheese, and I like to grate my own cheese instead of buying it prepackaged, shredded. So I grabbed two blocks of that, and then I heard these things are really good. I'm not a huge um, tater top person, but I heard these are good. They had, um, I think, a jalapeno one, and then this one has bacon and cheese in it, I think. Oh yeah, bacon and cheese. And then I needed some more, some more bow tie pasta, grab that. I also heard really good things about this simmer sauce. So they had mushroom and they had another flavor, but you're supposed to cook chicken and then add this simmer sauce to it. So sounded good to me. Um, I got my husband some peanuts. He likes to just snack on peanuts. And then I needed some more salsa verde for recipes. So I just grabbed a jar of that. And then my husband also likes to shell his own peanuts, so I grabbed him a bag of that as well. My son loves these rice crackers, so I got him an apple one, and then the strawberry banana one. And then we needed some eggs. These were $1.12, so I grabbed two containers or cartons of eggs. And then Harrison also loves these yogurt bites, so I grabbed him a mixed berry and a strawberry. 
He likes to eat these for breakfast. He hasn't tried the mixed berries, so we'll see, but he does like the apple, so I grabbed that. I heard that these wave crackers are pretty tasty, so Howard and I like stuff like this, so I figured it would be a good little snack. And then, um, I don't think I've tried this, but I wanted to give it a try. I think it was like 89 cents. And then I was so excited that they had these tempura, tempura shrimp. Um, we really like these a lot. They are a seasonal item. They were $7.49 a box, so I grabbed three. You get 12 in there, and they're a pretty decent size. And so I like them for a quick dinner. I usually make them with fried rice or something like that. So this is everything that I picked up for my haul. Let me grab my meal plan and show you what I'm making this upcoming week. Okay, so these are the meals that I have planned for this upcoming week. Um, I'm not necessarily making them on the dates that you see here, but I traditionally make five meals per week and this is what they are. So I'm going to be making a tortellini carbonara and that's why I bought the pasta today. And then we're gonna have probably salad with it and garlic bread. And then the next day I'm going to make some sesame chicken and that is a frozen meal that I have in my freezer. I'm still working on stuff from my freezer and pantry challenge. So I'm gonna make that with some rice and we also have egg rolls in our freezer as well. I plan on trying out a new recipe and that is the Swiss chicken casserole and probably have that with green beans. And then I plan on making crock pot Swedish meatballs. I did record a video um, on how I make that. It's been a while back ago and I'll link that in the description box so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna just serve egg noodles with that. I usually don't have a side when I make crock pot Swedish meatballs. And then going back to the freezer, we have some breaded fish that I need to make. And um, I'm going to make some homemade mashed potatoes. And then we also have hush puppies in our freezer that I need to use up as well. So this is the menu for the upcoming week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.